Hey friends. <laughs> uh, you guys, you know how last week was so busy and we had lots of exciting things to look forward to and to get ready for and prep to do. This week we have nothing. It is Friday and I filmed once this week. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have, I have nothing to do today except take a shoe to a friend who bought a shoe from me so, or from Jason so I'm gonna go for my walk but I, I slept in because I um, I don't sleep well at night and my stomach was not great great from about 7 to 8 30 or 9 um, and so yeah that was fantastic um, so I'm just late getting to the park here, but I don't have any plans today. Uh, it's Friday, like I said, Jason has to work today. Um, we just had some things come up with our staff, so he had to end up going to work this week after he got better. He is getting better, he's not completely better. Um, I'll give you a little update on that. He went to his dentist because we thought that maybe there was something going on with his tooth. He had a crown put on a couple weeks ago. Um, before he got sick so we thought maybe that there was some kind of infection back there that was causing the sinuses to be um, a problem uh, and the doctor didn't find anything with that but luckily for our wonderful budget that <laughs> never seems to end um, there's something wrong with an old root canal so there might be an abscess underneath the root canal which is fantastic and this dentist doesn't have the tools and the equipment to go that deep um, to fix it or to look at it. So Jason got a referral for um, a specialist. It's one that Abby had to go to um, and possibly Kaylee. Um, they both had like really weird root canals that had to get fixed. Um, so that's fantastic. I don't know if he's scheduled that appointment yet because he had to work extra this week. Um, and might it might lead into next week as well so I don't know for sure um, so that's fantastic but he kind of is feeling better he's sleeping in our bed <laughs> he's been like making like I'll wake up in the morning and there's a bed on the couch in our room and a bed on the couch in the playroom and a bed on the couch downstairs and by bed I mean like one of our bed pillows and a blanket and a pile of tissues so that's how I know it's him <laughs> and so there's always been like three of them around the house um, so that's not happening anymore so hopefully he's feeling better so he's at work today normally he's off um, but everyone else is at school Ashley's feet seem to be doing a little better she's still in a lot of pain but she like actively does her stretches um, like last night at cheer she just instantly just walked over to the wall and put her feet against the wall and was, was stretching her Achilles heel. And um, the naproxen is clearly helping some of the pain. <laughs> she like actively like takes that twice a day. Uh, she has her elevator pass that she forgot to take to school today because she has to turn it in on the weekends. So Abby dropped that off to her today because I was in a position where I couldn't leave the house this morning. <laughs> If you know, you know. And so she seems to be doing good. I'm going to have her rest and relax tonight. She really wants to hang out with some friends of hers that she does not do cheer with. Um, so I, I'm hoping she can hang out with them tonight. Um, I wanted her to hang out with them tomorrow night, but she says so she gets too tired after cheer. We have a game tomorrow afternoon. So that's our update to our back to normal regular life and I'm gonna go walking the sun is out we only have I mean our, our days are numbered with that beautiful I mean look at that like that's our life don't know when that's gonna dump on you so we're gonna enjoy that we're gonna we're just gonna enjoy the beautiful sunshine while we can so I'm gonna hurry and get out there I've wasted five minutes now um, I'm gonna go and walking and uh, then see what else I can get up to. Pretty sure if Ashley doesn't hang out with her friends tonight, she's just gonna want to do something. So I might do like a girls night with them, uh, maybe 
Maybe we can, I don't think there's a movie we can go to, but maybe I can find something we can watch on, t on the TV together, make some popcorn. We got pizza last weekend. I don't think they're gonna want pizza again, uh, but maybe just like have like a movie night or something. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, do something a little bit different tonight. It's homecoming weekend for the high school. I don't know if Chelsea's gonna go to her game. I, I, I'm assuming Abby's going to film it, to photo it. Um, I don't even know if Abby's going to homecoming, to be completely honest with you. She, she's kind of not very social at the school outside of like her job of being the photographer. Um, so I don't know. I guess I should ask her she didn't want her surgery scheduled this weekend. I do know that. Um, so, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe Abby's going to homecoming. That sounds really bad, but I just would assume that she would have told me about a dress that she was getting and going with her girlfriends and that kind of thing. But we'll ask Abby here, and I'm going to go for my walk, and then we'll figure the rest of the day out. All right, so I'm finished with my walk. I only did three miles today. Um... I'm really hungry <laughs> and so I got in the car I was you know getting ready to go home I took a shoe home or a shoe to a friend who got one and um, I texted Abby to see if she was home and I was like are you hungry I'm kind of feeling like Chick-fil-a which is in a different city so it's kind of you know what I mean like you have to kind of make the effort if you're gonna come over and get Chick-fil-a and she's like, oh, I'm at work, and that sounds so good. Could you bring it to me, please? And I actually just wanted to spend time with her, which she would have come with me if she wasn't at work. Um, but, uh, so now <laughs> I'm going to get Chick-fil-A for both of us, and I'll take it to her at work. And um, she is not going to homecoming dance tomorrow night, which is fine, It's that's her choice. Um, but I'm pretty sure she's going to the game tonight, which is probably why she's working now, so she can um, take the time off and go to the game. So, we will go get her usual. Um, I end up sharing her meal. I get like the chicken strips and fries, and she gets a frosted lemonade um, because I don't, I don't eat very much these days. Um, it is the medication; um, it does help you. So. Um, I just eat one of the chicken strips and a few fries and I'll get a beverage, a Coke, and um, and I'll take it, the rest of it to her at her work. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. It's a beautiful day. If she had come with me, I probably would have taken it over to the, um, over to the beach, over to a little, a little, the little yacht club, I guess is what it, what it is. Um, and we would have sat there and ate it and hung out and whatnot, but she's not with me. So here we go. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. All right, there's a little bit of a line, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're just gonna be patient. I've already been in line for a little bit, but it's worth it. Okay, the goods are secured and we're gonna head home. I can't show you where Abby works, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking my mom tax. Just give it to me. <laughs> All right, bye. bye. She's so cute. I wish I could tell you where she works because she works so hard and she's so good at her job and, um, and management loves her and they just let her work whenever she wants to work. Um, it's so cute. She's so cute at her job. She's gonna go places in this world, my friend. All my kids are, but she's gonna go places. So I'm gonna head home, I think. I'm full. I told you I would eat a few fries, which I did. I had like four or five fries. To be fair, the fries are like big. They're like the waffle fries. And I had one chicken strip. And I'm I'm full. And I'm literally, let me show you. I'm, I'll park here. Let me park. Look at my drink. Can you see the, it's like down to like right there. Right there. And I'm full. I, like I'm full. Put my little protein drink right there. I'm full. The medicine works wonders. Um, so I think I might just like go chill in my bedroom and watch Bridgerton. I have not watched the last few episodes from the newest season and I want to watch like Emily in Paris and 
um, Outer Banks has a new season coming out and like I want to watch all these new seasons as the rainy days kind of hit and I don't have anything to do like on today um, I also should gather some laundry and put some laundry in I should do that before I do that but I think I'm gonna go watch Bridgerton on days like this I Sometimes I go to a movie, but I don't want to do that because like, I don't want to have the snack. I don't want to get the popcorn and the chocolate and the Coke and whatnot. Um, so I think I'm just going to go home and watch Bridgerton and uh, kind of hang out by myself for a few hours. I think that I'll do that. But the guilty mom in me, I'll have, I'll have to put laundry in first because <laughs> that needs to get done. I'm back at home. I just wanted to show you what the beds look like <laughs> for Jason. He claims he didn't make this bed and that the tissues that were on the floor were not his, but no one else has been sick and sleeping on the couch. So anyway, we're going to go and watch the show. Well, there's no like blanket on this one. See, there's the tissues, all the pillows. He doesn't sleep here though. He just watches TV, but I've got to clean it up a little bit so that I can watch. What did we find here? Someone has a secret stash. <laughs> this is clearly where he hangs out at night. All right, I had to put pillows in the window to be able to watch my show. I have to, pro I have to prove that you've gotten yourself into a predicament and you, you've called begging for your mother to bail you out. <laughs> I'll be there to get you in just a second. Okay. All right. Bye. Stay there. Bye. So I have thoroughly been enjoying watching my show for the past couple hours. Two hours? I think I'm on like the third episode. Um, but Ashley just called me. Um, she's been at her friend's house. She texted me from her friend's phone when they were getting on the bus after school trying to get my sock off and uh, she said hey can I go over to my friend's house after school she lives up just right up the street I said yeah that's fine well they just called me she just called me from her friend's phone and said that they had walked down to this little cafe to get probably like a croissant or something which they're allowed to do it's fine um, but it was closed. So now, <laughs> they want to go to Starbucks and they want me to pick them up. So, I'm going to go and get them. And gives me something to do. I didn't do laundry. <laughs> I didn't. I should have brought it down just now, but I didn't do it. It's okay. Alright, well, I couldn't really film them. I couldn't, can't film the other girl. Um, but there's really not anything like two 11 year olds getting Starbucks um, and Ashley actually didn't have any money <laughs> she's like by the way can you pay for my drink I was like what were you gonna do at the other place um, I wasn't gonna get anything because I didn't actually have any money <laughs> so they're cute I just dropped them off at her, their her friend's house so I'm just gonna go and park and go back home and um, yeah just I like I told you guys this is why I'm not filming these days because there's just there's not much going on oh I need to help Abby she needs a I need to open a garage she needs a disc for her camera the person forgot to get them from the high school she's going to film the oh she gotta leave soon I didn't realize how long that took me they forgot to get a disc from the high school and they don't get access to the high school at while well, they're at the game so they've got it she's got to borrow one from me I've got to go find one that's not corrupt a lot of the discs that I have hanging around are the ones that have gone bad on me and I just have hope that it, I don't know I don't know why I hang on to them <laughs> Thank you.